Manchester United, Marcus Rashford, um, are they better long term or short term together? Now, Ten Hag has been speaking because there's a whole bunch of games going on at the moment uh, as we build up to the return of the Premier League. Ten Hag has compared Marcus Rashford to Kylian Mbappe Good as he sense. aims to keep the striker long term at Old Trafford. Um, and we know our friend over in uh, Doha, Paris Saint Germain, uh, Chairman Nasser Al Khalafi, mm. openly expressed his interest to us. In, in, in Rashford while we were out there I mean really? we, 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 well to us and a number of different people really? he said okay. yeah of course okay. yeah, yeah, yeah I mean what's your take on it long term or short term United and Rashford what's best for both do you remember when I always make this analogy about Marcus Rashford it's really unfair on a kid because he's always put on this pedestal that he's not at how can you put him in the same breath as Kylian Mbappe I mean it's just a ridiculous a ridiculous comparison he's not even in the same postal code He's a decent player, Marcus Rashford. He came on and gave us a couple of impact goals, you know. And if they had a better goalkeeper, if they had a better goalkeeper in place in, in the Welsh goal, they probably would have scored neither of them. And all of a sudden, he's back to being this well-beating footballer. That he's not. Do he's we not a- respect Ten Hag's football opinion in this one? Well, why should we? Can you can you seriously say, in all seriousness, we're looking across the table at me that Kylian Mbappe and Marcus Rashford are cut from the same cloth? Probably not. I'm with right. you on that. So it's a, ridic- we saw it's, a ridiculous, it's a ridiculous yeah. comparison. Yeah. No, if if they can get Marcus Rashford back on focus from the young player that first came out of their yeah. the youth set up and was yeah. keen to play for Man United, not perhaps a player that's got. No, I'm not talking about distractions of the things he's done for the for the good of society, but you know maybe distractions off the pitch that are not for the best interests of young players. If we can get him back on focus back into being a decent footballer. And we saw the beginnings of that at the beginning of this season because he had to liven himself up because he was in very grave danger of not making the World Cup. Last year, he spent the whole season sulking, um, decided he wasn't going to have an operation until he sorted it, so he felt like it, was going to go on holiday directly after, the, before he had the operation. Um, and everything seemed to be out of kilter. And that was, I blame, the culture of Man United for some of that. Yeah. Now, is he? look, if Rashford can continue to evolve back to the state where he was a couple of years ago, then why would Man United want to sell him? Mm. Unless someone comes in with a really compelling offer. Mm. If he's going to stay where he is now, which I think he is, I think he's reached his level. I don't think Marcus Rashford's going to get any better. as far as he goes. I, I think so. I think, I think he's very... I think he's, a, I think he's a decent player, and you've got to be a decent player to play in, in the top six, seven sides in the Premier League and to get into the England set-up. But to me, he, this ridiculous notion that we build certain players up to a level, and Marcus Rashford being that case in point, is... I don't think I don't think helpful for the boy. I don't think it's realistic, and I also don't think is an ultimate outcome that has any benefit to anybody. I, I but think. Having said that, we know Kalaf is interested and well, rates him highly. But, yeah, but Nasser's not a football manager, is he? He's a he's a billionaire football club owner. And maybe he likes the look of um, Marcus Rashford. Ask his coach if he wants him. Right. You think he's gone as far as he goes, Marcus I, Rashford? I, I do. Manchester United is his level at this current time. Well, yeah. I mean, no, I think PSG could be his level because what a PSG, they don't know. Great yeah. shakes, are they? Right. But certainly not in the same postcode as Kylian Mbappe. No, good God, no. 